What we're going to talk about today is CRM 2013 to 2015 upgrade. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the important things that you need to know about how to deal with the upgrade, what's important, what's changing, and uh, what we recommend as far as upgrade. So we're changing our supported matrix of software, as most of you have seen on the blog by this point. Windows Server 2012 and 2012 R2 are our two core supported OSs. We also support Windows SQL Server 2012 and Windows 7 and Windows 8 clients. So that includes Windows 8 and 8.1. For browsers, we're going to continue to support IE 10 and 11 going forward. In the case of Exchange and Outlook, we're supporting from the 2010 versions forward. So 2010 and 2013. For CRM 2015, we're also discontinuing support for several older operating systems and components in the Microsoft stack. That includes Windows Server 2008, 2008 R2, the small business servers, and SQL Server 2008, 2008 R2, and its various service packs. Additionally, we're discontinuing support for Windows Vista, IE8, and IE9. In the past, when we've discontinued support for a browser, we would take that browser and route that to our Mobile Express website. We're not going to do that going forward. We're going to allow you to access the main site. However, we're not testing with those browsers anymore, and we do recognize that features will stop working in those browsers over time. So you're encouraged to upgrade to the most current versions of Internet Explorer or the browser of your choice that we've supported. Additionally, we'll be dropping support for the Exchange and Office 2007 series. This is necessary in order to allow us to move forward with both our visual experience as well as taking advantage of capabilities and components within the newer versions of Office as we move forward. So now on upgrade. Upgrading for on-premise, and again this particular part is focused on the on-premise customer, is a one-way process. We provide two methods of upgrade. Either upgrade in place, which means you install the media on top of the servers that you have, and they'll upgrade as they are right there. Or, a migration upgrade. A migration upgrade is defined or easily thought of as deploying another CRM instance with a separate database, and then migrating your organizations from one database to the other. This is actually how we do most of our upgrades in the case of CRM Online. The migration upgrade is preferred and the one that we recommend because it provides you the most efficient way to fall back to the CRM 2013 deployment if you need to. Now, for upgrades to work, upgrades must start from CRM 2013 Service Pack 1. That is in versions, the 6.1 release of CRM. One of the important things about upgrading from CRM 2013 to 2015 is the change in the database structure of CRM. As part of the upgrade process, Prior to actually upgrading your organization, we apply a set of diagnostics to that organization to determine whether or not it's safe to upgrade. If it's not, we'll tell you to the best of our ability what's wrong and what you need to do to fix it. If there's an issue, there's a more info button that will tell you or link you to an article that will explain to you what action you need to take to resolve this problem. Issues that we can take care of for you will be presented as warnings. Warnings essentially inform you that we're going to make a change to your organization in order to upgrade it. One of the important things about upgrading from CRM 2013 to 2015 is the change in the database structure of CRM. When we delivered CRM 2013 to the market, we modified the core database structure of CRM 2013. We collapsed a series of tables to make the system more efficient. Because we recognized that some customers were not easily able to take those changes, we allowed customers to run in the old database state, the ability for you to run in what we called an expanded state. Going forward, we are now requiring that this merge process occur as part of upgrade. The base extension table merge process, or the merge process, allows us to provide you with a much more efficient, higher performance CRM deployment. If your database is not in a merge, a merge state, we will merge that for you on upgrade. If your database cannot be merged, we will stop the upgrade, inform you of what's wrong, and you'll need to straighten that problem out prior to upgrading. So, so far we've discussed the server upgrade process for upgrading the server and the organizations. Now this applies primarily to on-premise. For online customers, we take care of all of that for you as part of the upgrade process, it's part of the service. 
The Solution Framework is the means by which you move customizations from one CRM organization to another. Now, it's important to understand the changes that we've made between CRM 2011 and CRM 2015. In CRM 2011, we introduced the Solutions Framework. In CRM 2013, we enhanced the Solution Framework, made it faster, made it a bit more portable, and added a good deal more flexibility to it. We also began restricting how the Solution Framework could be applied. So for example, in CRM 2013, a CRM 2013 solution could not be exported and imported into CRM 2011. And then going forward, a CRM 2013 Service Pack 1 solution could not be imported into a CRM 2013 deployment. Now this seems a little restrictive, but it's there for good reason. As part of the work we've done in the Solution Framework, we added the ability in CRM 2013 Service Pack 1 to export to a specific version of CRM. So in this case, CRM 2013 Service Pack 1 can export a solution that is compliant with CRM 2013 RTM. Now moving forward into CRM 2015, we're continuing that theme. CRM 2015 solutions will work for CRM 2015 deployments. However, they will not be importable into a CRM 2013 deployment. Also, we will not support CRM 2011 solutions coming directly into CRM 2015. Now again, the reason we're doing this is that we've made some pretty fundamental changes to the core of the solution system in effort to make this more effective and better in the future. In the latter part of our release cycle for CRM 2011, we released a new design for our forms. We made that the primary design for our forms in CRM 2013. Now as part of the upgrade from CRM 2011 to 2013, we allowed you to retain the function and layout of your CRM 2011 forms. However, we encouraged you to upgrade your forms to take advantage of the new features and capabilities that we're adding to the forms introduced in CRM 2013. Moving forward into CRM 2015, we're maintaining that capability. We're allowing you to have brought your CRM 2011 form from CRM 2011 through CRM 2013 and into CRM 2015. Therefore, if you're upgrading from CRM 2011, you won't need to account for your forms being upgraded and modified at the same time. You can do that on your own pace over time. As we add new capabilities and features to CRM 2015, we will be adding those only to the new forms. We will not go back and add them to the older forms. So if you'd like to take advantage of several of the new capabilities that are being provided, it's important that you do move over and migrate to the CRM 2013 forms inside CRM 2015. Now to do that migration, we provide you a number of tools and capabilities. The tools that we provide you take the form of both documentation and in-application tooling. The documentation you can find in our SDK and on the web covers the process that you need to go through to upgrade your form and the design considerations that you should take into account in regards to how your forms will appear on our mobile clients and in our Outlook client. The in-app tools that we provide you are in the form designer. So the first thing you need to understand is how to identify the CRM 2011 and the CRM 2013 form. CRM 2011 forms are all called information. So if you look at the account entity, which you should see here, the form named information is the CRM 2011 form. The form named account is the CRM 2013 form. You'll also notice that you have the ability to activate or deactivate a form. This was a feature that we added in CRM 2013 to support this work. To move forward, you would open up the CRM 2013 form. In the CRM 2013 form, you'll find a button called Merge Forms. Now, that button's only going to be activated on a CRM 2013 based form. When you click that button, you'll be presented with a lookup dialog that allows you to select the 2011 form. When you choose that form and import that form, it will take your customizations from CRM 2011 and move them to the bottom of the CRM 2013 form. I hope you found the information that we provided here useful in upgrading from CRM 2013 to 2015. You'll find detailed guidance and detailed steps on both configuration and steps, as well as several of the advanced options and capabilities inside the implementation guide that we provide with CRM 2015.